over there is the museum we went to a few days ago and over there is uh, Tiananmen Square I think most people already know what the Forbidden City is. In fact, it is one of the most famous places in all of China, no question. Now, to the small minority of people who don't know what the Forbidden City is, for some reason, basically, it was the main place of residence for the emperors of China, specifically during the Ming and Qing dynasties. Now, because there are almost 10,000 rooms in the Forbidden City, there is no way I can get through all of them in a day. However, that doesn't mean I'm not going to try. So I'm going to get through as much as I can until my legs get tired. Let's go! So we have arrived officially at the Forbidden City. Oh my god, it is big. <laughs> I should have probably figured this out, especially since we're in such a prestigious place, but uh, yeah, the whole thing is symmetrical. So the military hall and the civilian hall are very similar, just mirrored. Though the civilian hall doesn't have uh, the river go through it, which is something, so yeah. So that's Zhonghe Dian and there's a Ba He Dian. Unlike how like uh, Monte Michel was like very condensed, here everything is just spread out and like so much stuff. It's insane. <laughs> Thank you. 
so over here is the main residence of uh, Sishi Taiho. Now, this pavilion actually has some interesting history behind it. Essentially, this pavilion was built in the European style, rather than Chinese. Now, after two years of building it, it was discontinued in 1911 after the Republic of China took charge. Now, considering this was during the European-influenced century of humiliation, this could lead to the building having some interesting symbolism behind it. Not saying what it is. Alright, so we uh, just left uh, the Forbidden City, but there's actually one more place we're gonna go real quick, and it's actually like on the other side of the street. <laughs> Now, one of the more unsettling parts here in Jingshan Park is this tree. Now, if you see my older videos, then you might have remembered when I talked about how Chongzhong Huangdi, the last emperor of the Ming Dynasty, chose to uh, end his own life. Well, this isn't that tree. This is a different tree. The old tree was destroyed a long time ago. But this is the same spot, which is still very unsettling.
So at the top of this hill is uh, five pavilions. This one in particular was made around like 1750 during the Qing Dynasty. And it's like at the very top of this hill and also uh, connected onto the uh, Royal Road. So one of the cool things about this little park area is that once you get to the top of this hill, you actually get to see the entire Forbidden City. Oh my god. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching episode 5 of the uh, Chinese vlog series. Make sure to stay tuned tomorrow for the final episode where I head back to Hanoi. And I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. Bye.